everyone. I was just gonna say good morning, but it's definitely not morning. It is 5 at 10 p.m. and I'm just starting off, well, it's gonna be a weekly vlog, but I'm just starting off today's portion right now. It's Monday, but I, to be honest, I haven't been feeling the greatest today. Um, I woke up and like was doing my normal thing. I finished or like I ended off my last vlog and I was fine. And then I went out for a bit to like get some content and then I came back and honestly just like wasn't feeling great, which is ironic or like funny because I had, I might focus, um, because I had just been saying, I just got the COVID booster if you're wondering. I talked about that in my last vlog, but I was saying how I like didn't really feel sick. It was just my arm that was hurting and like my arm does hurt a little bit, but um, a few hours, like probably like around, oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> probably at like 12 or 1 p.m. today is when my whole body started to really ache and I had a headache. So I went in bed and was gonna take a nap. And then of course I was sitting on my phone for way too long in my bed. And then I finally took like a half hour nap and woke up and definitely felt better. I still had a headache, so I took some Advil, but um, now I'm feeling fine. So anyway, that was a long with an explanation to say that I I think it hit me a tiny bit more than I was saying in my last vlog, but like I'm still fine. Anywho, um, in my last vlog as well, sorry, I'm referencing that video a lot, but I had done a um, Costco haul. Wait, I need a plate. And from Costco, we got this brownie mix. It's like a um, paleo keto brownie mix, which I am neither of those, but the ingredients are super clean. And so I tried them last night, like I tried making them. And they're so good. They're definitely not like super sweet or super chocolatey. So if that's what you prefer, then you might not like these. But I think these are just so good because they like, I can have one and then I'm like good. Which I don't really need this right now, but I want it. So I'm going to enjoy my brownie. I just wanted to start off this video though, say hi. I don't really know what the rest of our night holds. I know we're going to have, I think, tomato soup for dinner, which, oh my god, I'm sorry. I keep mentioning it. But in my last vlog, I was thinking how I'm not going to be able to eat the tomato soup we got from Costco because it has um, dairy in it. But... I'm just gonna eat it anyway, honestly. It just sounds really good. I'm making a mess, okay. So that's our dinner plan. Yusuf just left to go pick up Sally from daycare, which I usually drop him off and pick him up, but I just didn't feel like driving to be honest. So he was nice enough and is going to go get him. Oh, he asked me to vacuum our front entryway. If you guys live in a cold climate or like a place where it snows and there's always salt on the roads and on like the sidewalks and you understand. And I don't even think you can tell, but we have so much salt like all over. You can kind of tell like right here all over the ground of where we walk in from the door. And we have vacuumed it so many times. Sorry, it's gonna be dark for a second. I'm grabbing the vacuum, but we have vacuumed it so many times. We literally were vacuuming it this morning, but it's just like how it is. And we could get like a, um, like they have like snow boot or like, like trays kind of that you put in your entryways, but we don't really have the space. And we also just like don't wanna get one. So we're just dealing with vacuuming it, but honestly, such a pain. But that's what you get when you live in a cold climate. <laughs> Good enough. Good morning, guys. I am just heading out for the day. Um, I didn't film much for the rest of my day yesterday, or really at all, after Sally came home from daycare because we were just hanging out. But I figured I'd pick it back up today. I also decided this may be just like a few days vlog, or it might be more of a week, but I'm thinking it'll end up I think it'll end up being more like just a couple days and then I'll start a new vlog. But anyway, um, happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday for me. I have a feeling my podcast is gonna start playing. Whenever I plug my phone in, it always starts. It's not wonderful. I am just about to head out. I need to run a couple of errands. I need to get Sally a new dog bed because his, um, well, he has two. He has one that's like in his crate and then one that we just keep out. And the one that was in his crate had ripped. So I need to get him a new one for his crate. Um, and I also need to run to Ulta because I ran out of my eyeliner and I want to get rose hip seed oil because I know it's supposed to be super good for your skin. I used to use it and I just haven't, um, like I just stopped using it. So I want to get one of those. So that's the plan for today. I also may try to get an Instagram picture while we're out, but, um, I might not. We'll see. Yesterday was a big content day. I've been talking so much about content days. I'm sorry, but I have been just like on my game. I've been so active on Instagram, even in TikTok. Actually, exciting. Very exciting. One of my TikToks I posted went, okay, I'm not going to say viral because TikTok virals like millions and millions of views and I didn't get anywhere close to that but one of my TikToks got like it's at 15,000 views and it happened overnight I posted it last night and I woke up this morning and it was at like 10,000 and right now it's at 15.3 thousand so very excited about that <laughs> um not that anyone cares but anyway okay let's head out let's go run some good old errands have a little girls day by myself and yeah I'm excited to spend the day with you I just got here to Ulta and I'm gonna go in I also may run no, I don't really need to. I was gonna say I may run next door to Nordstrom Rack, 
Um, I really want a black puffer coat, not a necessity, but I really want one. But I need to go to TJ Maxx to get, or Home Goods to get um, Sally a dog bed, and the one near me is like both of them, so I'll just look there, and if they don't have one, like a, a puffer coat, that's okay. Let's go inside, see what they have. This does not go at all today. That's why I need a black puffer, but that's okay. <laughs> back in the car we did get the goods so I will give you guys a quick little haul when we get home but I'm gonna run over to TJ Maxx home goods and I will bring you guys in there as well someone stopped me I haven't even made it to the dog stuff which is the whole point why I'm here and I have stuff in my cart wonderful To like that all right whatever hopefully you guys don't mind too much but i just got home obviously i'm going to show you what i got first we will start with ulta because i went there first also i have plastic bags i know i really do usually use my ac just went off good because it was loud i really do typically use reusable bags but i was a dummy and didn't bring any so i'm sorry about the plastic bags but first from ulta i got the good molecules pure cold pressed rose hip seed oil this is actually one of the main reasons that i went there um because i want to try that out i've heard it's supposed to be really good like that one specifically and then i got my eyeliner just to refill this is the one i use every day i love it it's the elf h2o proof eyeliner pen in jet black it is six bucks i think and it's my favorite eyeliner i've ever tried it's so easy to use and it stays on like forever it will not budge or smudge or anything it's amazing and then last two things i got are just um backups of what i use for my eyebrows so this is the brow pencil i use and the clear brow, brow blah, 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 clear brow gel i'm talking too fast there's no reason to be talking this fast um but i just picked these up because i wasn't sure if i had backups already and even if i do i'll end up using these because i've used these like for years and years so that's it from Ulta. Then I went to TJ Maxx like you guys saw. And I did take the tags off some things because I did end up stopping at a parking garage and getting a couple Instagram pictures. So um, tags are off a couple things, like I said, but the, I did just buy these. So first I got these sunglasses. They are Betsy Johnson. I don't know if I can really rock these. Like I honestly don't really think so, but I think they look cute on the top of your head. <laughs> and I mean, I don't know. Will I ever wear these on? Like I don't think they look good on me, but yeah i think i look a little stupid but i think they look really cute at the top of your head and i wanted them so pick oh my god i look like a lion i also grabbed these which i have one extra one in the bag because i used it also for a picture but um i got these little claw clips they're just miniature butterflies um i wanted like smaller claw clips because i wanted to be able to do like half up half down and all of my clips like these are either really big for all of my hair or they're super tiny just for like bangs or something so i grabbed these again there is one more somewhere loose in the bag which i'll show you in a minute then i also <laughs> took the tags off this because i wore it for a picture but just a plain black long sleeve it's a little cropped super simple super cute see i went in needing just a dog bed and of course i come out with all this stuff but i haven't done that in a long time so i'm giving myself the grace to treat myself anyway grab this little headband um i like put a headband on every day when i wash my face both morning and night but um the one i use is just like an old headband i think it's yusuf's even it's just like a random black headband so i wanted to get one that's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing or cute just because as stupid as it sounds like i am i do youtube and tiktok and stuff like that and so like having things like these just like steps up your content i know that sounds really stupid but if you do it then you know what i mean like the little things make a difference so grab that and then i also grabbed a new dog bed for sully this is gonna go in his crate like i said he loves a good donut bed sorry there's no there's no oh i just found the last um butterfly clip which is actually my favorite isn't that just like 
hello isn't that just so pretty don't tell anyone but in the picture i took i couldn't get this off so i just kept it on and you probably can't even tell in the picture that i'll eventually post on instagram but anyway grab that well that came with the other ones and then the last thing was such a find it's actually funny because Yusuf and I went with his mom to TJ Maxx when she was in town and I had or I saw this coat there um, and I loved it. It's a lucky brand just like suede. It's so cute. It's just like this nice coat and it's in such a good color. Um, but when I saw it, it was, I think it was like 70 bucks or something, or maybe even like 60, but it's a medium. So it is definitely a little bit big for me. I typically would wear like an extra small. Um, but I was like, okay, I'm not going to get it because I don't want to spend like 60 bucks on a coat that doesn't really fit me that great. And then today I saw it and it was in the clearance and it was on sale for 30 bucks and it's like a nice lucky coat. Okay. It doesn't look good with this shirt, obviously, because this like doesn't go, but it's not like that big on me. I mean, it's definitely a little bit big, but I got it anyway and I'm very happy about it. So I grabbed that. I did also wear this for a picture and funny story. I was taking pictures in it, but it, I was like, my back was to the camera. So you could just see like the back of the coat and I didn't bother taking the tags off on the inside. Cause I was like, no one's gonna see the inside. And little did I know that the whole time I was taking pictures, you could see this tag in the back. So I'm gonna have to like hopefully edit that out which is wonderful. Um, but then lastly, I stopped at Whole Foods. Sorry, I know this is quick. Well, I'm trying to go quick, but um, stopped at Whole Foods because I needed to pick up my creamer that I ran out of. I've been recently obsessed with the hazelnut nut pods. I go through different phases with different flavors, but right now this one's my favorite. And then I also grabbed this. I have never tried this. I've tried this brand's um, vegan cream cheese, but I have not tried their like slices. So I got the Violife just like smoked provolone slices they're like basically dairy free provolone um but i want to make a like sandwich for lunch today and i thought these would just be like good to have in general because i'm sure they'll last silly stretching next to me i'm sure they'll last a decent amount of time in the fridge actually oh i lied once open consume within seven days it looks like i'm having sandwiches for the next seven days then i'm excited to try this so um yeah i'm gonna put all this away and then i think that actually i'm gonna make a sandwich right now because i'm pretty hungry and um yeah i'll show you guys how that turns out them earlier today we have just been hanging out we actually ordered dominoes for dinner because we both wanted pizza and we haven't gotten dominoes in a long time and if you actually know us like personally you'll know that we love dominoes people like hate on dominoes and i know that and people say like it's not real pizza which i can't disagree with that like it's definitely like domino's pizza is very distinctly dominoes if you've had it you know what i mean um, but we both just love it for some odd reason. It's like our thing. So we got Domino's and I had a couple slices and then we just finished watching Clickbait actually. I know it kind of was like popular a while ago, but we never finished it because I had COVID and his mom was here and then, um, I have been watching Criminal Minds and we just like haven't been watching it, but we finally finished it today and if you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. It really is good. There's so many like plot twists and today when we were like finishing it, Yusuf was like saying what he thought the ending was going to be and he was like, oh, it's too predictable and then the ending ended up being completely different. So it's a really good show. I highly recommend. But I'm going to just finish putting our sheets on and then we're going to get into bed. So I will pick this up. I just really my blue socks really are killing the vibe here, but uh, I will pick this back up. Tomorrow, when I have something more exciting. <laughs>
good morning guys just coming on to end this video i know i said this was going to be a week in my life um and then i ended up saying it'll probably be a few days and it is just a few days just because um it's getting well it will get long if i continue filming and i am just doing so much computer work today it's 2 56 and this is the first break i've taken to do anything not on my computer i've been doing just so much so there's not really much for me to film today so it's a good place for me to end this off i'll pick up a new vlog tomorrow i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did if it's your first time or you're not subscribed already then stick around subscribe join us over here and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys